Welcome back to part number nine of my Imperator Rome playthrough as a Bosporan Kingdom. Uh, we have passed a bit of time. I have uh, built myself a navy. I redeployed my uh, legions down here into uh, Thessaloniki. And uh, see our maximum capacity. We'll probably do with um, another horse archer uh, on either. That should work. I have a flight of 10. These guys should all fit on these boats. Um, my point is that I was sort of perusing the board here uh, in between episodes and stumbled on the Asian Revolt. I haven't really been paying the area much mind. Uh, this is a heavily uh, uh, wondered area. The uh, Temple of Artemis here is uh, plus 0 0.08 tick and plus 25% religious. Uh, technology uh, and then this is six a uh, five percent unintegrated culture group happiness he is associated with a few uh, he's allied with Argos here he has some vassals I think he's what's left of the uh, Antigonid kingdom his vassal is the Nesiotic League here and Aeolia here None of them were, which have uh, very many ships. So you could think it was a trap. Uh, these guys are very island-oriented or coastal, but they don't really have many ships per se. I um, placed a, an admiral here, uh, Admiral uh, Nick Archos. He's very loyal and, and quite competent, a bit old. And then this scorn came up, so I... I was looking to see which family to the Timelids, and I, I wonder you know, why there are so few of them. Then I like check that this guy's not married, and uh, then I check this guy, he's not married. I can't even like tell him to get married. So, uh, what I was thinking of calling on our deity of fertility and getting a few more kids uh, to um, this guy who actually, uh, he didn't have any children either. Well, he needs some, clearly, obviously. What's the story here? Um, that, uh, monotonous. Yeah, she just never had any kids. So she's going to have some right now. And then we're going to go off and attack the uh, Asian revolt. I was thinking eight children would be um, uh, befitting a man of his stature. And um, unfortunately, uh, I don't have the uh, wherewithal to uh, go in and have his children... Uh, have children. Uh, you'd think that they would as well. Uh, somebody did, at least. Uh, that's a, the Timelid here. So this guy, he really needs, should be married, but he has no children. And Well, we're not worried about it either. What we're going to do is get on these boats. We're going to sail over there, and we're going to secure those wonders. Have I mentioned that Egypt has gone a little bit uh, wonkified, wonky here? It's there. Uh, large, shall we say. Yeah, large. Um, they have not eaten this part of the Seleucid uh, revolt and slash empire, etc. yet, but I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put it past them attacking us either. Alright, so should I have divided these armies up into like three stratos or taxis? Probably. But uh, I'm in no hurry. And we're going to not get uh, bush bushwhacked. Uh, there's a lot of these guys. Sparta as well now? Well, we'll not worry about it. And not really much left of Sparta. I couldn't even tell you where they were, but uh, we're going to drop one of these on our war goal here in um, the capital. Well, we'll just land, and then we'll get on uh, another one of our taxis over here. I think I'm going to hire a Merc. This fat stack right here looks like the man for the job. I think this guy, uh, perhaps another here. Let's see who you are. I'll find another. There he is. We're going to secure this area. And it's looking like a slaughter. Which it is. Looks like we're at war with uh, just the, the uh, orange and reddish colored uh, nations here. So let's just sort of mosey down towards in this direction here. Maybe we can uh, cross this uh, with our fleet. We have a PI event here. Uh, we're very near the top. I'm going to figure something out. 
I drop a claim right here. And uh, take the 18. And then I need to figure something out again. Well, we seem to do uh, all right with tribals. It's, in the beginning, it's a little rough, but uh, they seem to be happy enough. Sort of, generally. Uh, this area, it's not urban, but I'm sure there's a great many trade goods that uh, we could have, so why not file a claim? And they're associated with um, Torisia, Torisia, and Sevasia. Well, we'll take them as well. The Siege of Miletos just fell. And I think there's an army about this area somewhere. I'm going to find it. At least there was. Uh, there's no knowing where he's gone. The siege just fell as well. We'll take the capital. Let's get on the boat. And head over towards this area here. I think this bruiser is a mistake. We're going to stand him down. And I'll just move this uh, this unit here as a defensive measure. This is a feudatory, the uh, Nessiotic League, or and this is a, a feudatory as well. Uh, those are a cost of a fair bit of war score. We can probably grab uh, Argos um, for not an exaggerated amount. We captured the uh, Nessiotic Admiral. We have a case of spell on Rome. We found this lot here. Let's land and maybe we can force march in there and catch them out. We've done it. I'm going to file a claim here on Rhodes as well. They don't seem guaranteed or affiliated really with much of anything of consequence. And there's a nice wonder there as well for uh, naval. I think this unit is uh, retreated. I was trying to knock him out. He's going to uh, Magencia. I think if we take to the sea, like maybe we could catch him out and he won't be able to see us. We'll go out here and wait. Actually, let's go and pick up our Merc. We'll have him garrison that area and we'll siege down something or other. In fact, we'll siege down. Where's Sparta? Looks as though we're at war with Athens here as well. Um, let's go over there and siege that down. The siege has just fallen. Uh, let's see, uh, we can go down here as well. There's quite a few forts about this area. I wonder whether I even want this. Hmm. Uh, it's either take it now or wait for the Roman, I suppose. And I'd rather take it now. It would seem the uh, the Asian revolt, the first levy of Asia, has secured um, access through Thrace and is now about to ravage our our territories here. I would wager there's probably someone about here that can. This guy comes to mind. Let's do that. And get him uh, geared up and headed in the right direction. Unfortunately, our levies are really no match for that thing. There's uh, Sarmatia Europa here because of Olbia, but it's really, I probably couldn't match him either. Looks like he's going to attack across a river here, and we're happy just like that. I note we're almost topped out on PI again. I think we need to build another city. Let's check the food status here. I filled up this city and food is still good. So we need a proper terrain here for all of it to swap. Well, marsh is really, what is it? Only minus 10% uh, and then the frigid as well. Uh, we have one here already. We have one there, but not, not here. Let's, uh, let's build one there. We have a, a decent amount of food relatively as we can import more and we have um, the ability to have fish farms all on. Hmm. 
we have these fish farms that can produce some degree of fish but really it'll only make a surplus of, of two if we're lucky if we're lucky so maybe I'll build some academies and get some import routes and some marketplaces this guy is still at it here and uh, it is over for him the siege of Athens here has fallen let's see if we can find associated territories there are not so these guys here are holed up in the hills of Corinthos there's quite a few of them there We are very good at what we do. They probably have the phalanx, which would mean that we would not want to choose the cavalry skirmish, and we could stick with, with what we have. Nice. Uh, looks like a win, and uh, let's see how this ugly fall. This Merc has reoccupied our provincial capital. We'll head down to this one here as well. Reoccupy that, and that guy will show up, uh, that, that shattered army, and we'll levy eyes him at that point. This Merc here is um, sieging this uh, capital. He's not making uh, much headway. I wonder. Um, let's see how an assault will go there. Boom! Well, let's get uh, get this Merc on this boat and go and take over this other provincial capital here. I think uh, there is one here as well. The Siege of Andros here has dropped. Or Argos. Uh, let's see if he's... Uh, how can we get here? Can we go there? We, we can. We must be at war with that guy by definition. This is Sparta. What's left of him? This army here has showed up. I think we can levyize this unit right now. Yep, it's over for him. Him as well. I think this Roman fellow had an idea about attacking uh, over into that wonder group that I uh, saw. As he is now at war with these guys, uh, what's his war goal? Take Attica, so somewhere around here. Um, he's also, the Roman uh, has taken that and that, so you know that he was interested in this area. I think he's headed to Oreos. No, that's Boeotia. Attica is his war goal. He, he can't very well do it, I don't think. As we are uh, the war, uh, uh, siege leader here. And we already control Athens. The Siege of Corinthos has fallen here, so let's take this over. We'll land here on Orioles. So we have a 99 war score. This uh, siege just fell somewhere around here. I was going to go over here, but uh, apparently I think we can annex it anyway. Let's see what we can do here. We have no aggressive expansion. Let's see here. Let, let's take what we can uh, from Athens. I don't think that's affiliated. Well, what we do know is that we want this. That's what we know, and this, and that as well. So these islands are probably uh, a good idea as well, as they are probably harder to take than not. This area as well, that's 96 points right there. As for that, well. 23 AE, let's do it. We've got a truckload, let's see how much money. Uh, we get some points, uh, let's let's do it. Yep. Boom. So we have some money in the bank. A little AE to burn down. I'm going to get out of this area and uh, head back to um, Pella. Pella's been good luck to us. We're going to base here in uh, Thessaloniki and uh, see if I can figure out a, a new target. Drat, we are, well, worse things could happen. We're topped out on our traditions again. 
So we can take this for levy size multiplier, which sounds like a really good idea. Let's do exactly that. Let's see what our legions are at now. That's uh, a fairly sizable increase. I think it was just that 71 last time I looked. Who knows, though, really? I think I can merge these two armies and then uh, create three with the larger uh, levy size. All right, uh, some time has passed. I decided uh, not to increase the size of my standing army and instead use that extra capacity we got from the 2.5% uh, uh, levy modifier from our tradition to build a couple of road building legions or uh, yeah. They're on road building detail. Uh, this guy was supposed to build one road going up here, but somehow it it didn't really work out. He stopped building it here. I, I think it it ceased when he went through this impassable territory. Theoretically, that's not supposed to happen, but uh, apparently it, it does. So I'm not worried. Um, this guy is is doing much the same. He's headed off in various directions. They're both uh, slated to end up uh, here in our home territory. And building the Roman uh, a road up here so he can rush up to our capital as though he couldn't by sea anyway. Not a great idea, but I don't think he'll do it. I think he'll be drawn into these various uh, provincial capitals and the road will help us more than the Roman invader if, if he even invades again. As for this, uh, there's a lot of hills and mountains and uh, forests and whatnot along this coast. We have a navy now we can move, but you never know. Um, like the Romans, they love to have higher order ships. I'm pretty sure his navy is large. It is. And uh, I'm pretty sure that there's some larger capital ships in it. And it would uh, essentially dispatch our little Liberian transport navy summarily. So we'll just leave that be. We may need these roads to be able to uh, traverse this territory quickly. As for um, what goes on, I'm sort of trying to bank money. And uh, I've been building cities. I built a new one here in Bata. Populated it from with uh, pops from, from the steppe. You'll note uh, there are many more pops here in Albania and Parthia. This area here, uh, as these pops are now in, in these cities, I'm building another uh, couple of cities um, in Siti and Ish. And um, there's no longer anybody in the steppe, uh, so there's a, quite a few um, primary culture pops over here. I'm going to move them um, through Olbia uh, from, uh, say, uh, here up into uh, this territory to uh, Olbia and then uh, right in here to uh, these two new cities. As for moving the pops down from this area here down into the cities of Macedon, well, I'm not really sure that that's uh, gonna be a thing as it, it strikes me as uh, very very costly relative to our quest for a wonder which um, should cost us about 13,000 or thereabouts. I note that our sieges were not falling nearly as quickly as I would have liked in this area, uh, here as well. Uh, so, uh, probably build a siege wonder, as well as um, I'm thinking on the government traditions wonder, not that I need the loyalty, but the corruption the provincial loyalties are nice, although we have them, because we're running a high stability and not really uh, getting too terribly much aggressive expansion for very long. But the wonder here that, um, well, I think it's the best wonder in the game. If we look at it here, let's see how long our glorious wonder would take to build. So I have two slated. I'm not. I know I'll take the siege, but as for the retaliation procedure, I'm, I'm not really certain as to what will happen, but. I'm thinking that I could take the technology required to build this. It's very nice for corruption and money, provincial loyalty, and then the governors are, are even loyal uh, again. So you can unsworn families and keep your proven provenances doubly loyal with the governor loyalty keying into 
the loyalty mechanic of, of the population as well. So as I, I can't uh, choose that yet, we'll just choose a random one and see how long, yeah, 13,500 and uh, a fair clip of time. But here's the here's the, the stop right there, 13,500. Along those lines, um, we just popped another technology. I have eight in the bank and we can get a um, plus four loyalty of characters as well as some more PI here. If we just make the commitment to uh, that wonder or the quest for it. So I think we can do it. Let, let's let's take these technologies and just take the PI. As if we don't take it, we'll lose out on the PI. Whatever that Diplo range is worth, I'm not sure. We have that old... Um, who knows, really. And then we have... yeah. And then the plus four characters and some nobles will appear. And theoretically, um, as we're sort of um, in a hybrid, peaceable sort of campaign here, uh, building out uh, our urban centers around the uh, Black Sea or whatnot, uh, whatever exactly this sea is called, I don't know. Um, the Pontus Exunus here is but then this uh, subcategory that I'm not sure what the, the designation is but whatever the case is we're gonna continue to build around this area here and up along this major river uh, in the capital of Torica and imagine if we continue that we're gonna run out of food and we'll have to um, colonize uh, these various territories here in the steppe as well which are fairly uh, they're very food positive in fact the problem is a frigid climate. I'm not sure that this one is a frigid. It's not. And it is uh, it's quite food positive. So we could build along here. We have Yelsa. We'll probably want to build another city here. And um, think on uh, getting maybe uh, three more or two more cities in this provenance here as well. Anyway, as to my point, um, we could continue down this path to take some reputation which if you're at peace uh, will give you a, an, an AE burn and then these are they're not bad Diplo rep here again plus three and then more PI a lot of PI and more loyalty of characters so I'm gonna think on that as well so our city here in CD just popped and uh, Ish is probably not far behind 91 days I'm going to populate it as uh, I said. Theoretically, these areas are sort of loyal, and actually, they're wildly loyal. And I think I can extract boss burns from this area and get them up to those cities. Um, let's see if what, what can be done here. Let's see if we can move some boss burns and how long it will take. We'll just grab whatever boss burn I happen to see and move them to that city there. There are quite a few here, uh, one there as well. We found one here and there, so we'll move them. Those guys here. We'll grab um, those boss burns from Duostronum. So there are 14 there now. So that's quite a few of them that can be brought up to um, populate that city. So now we'll go, um, well, actually we'll take all the Bosporins we can find in this area here as well. we'll just go down that list. It's not going to do much for the loyalty of this area, but then again, I think it's wildly loyal anyway because of all the Hellenism about. We're going to have, I think, too many Bosporins when we're done with all this. We have five more here. <clears throat> and it's not doing my my quest for my wonder any good either so this area here is uh, probably going to be highly it is highly populous with boss ones so I don't want to spend too terribly much money on this but in the interest of doing it and getting these boss burns finally relocated up to um our capital territory, I think it's worth it. 
to both to do it and to show it. So we'll just do it and get it done as I've been talking about it for most of this uh, series here. It doesn't really take all that much time. If you have a large bankroll, you don't have to worry about getting them stranded like five, like 150 Bosporans in a single territory and then they all starve to death before you can recover the money for necessary to move them. So here we've moved them all here. We've uh, de-Bosporanized this area, this area. And it's still uh, it's, it's about as loyal as it was previously. We're going to move these guys from here to here. Uh, let's, uh, there they are. Just a click, 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 and right along here, get them moving. And get these Bosporans there, there. And they generally end up at the bottom of the list. Let's say here. So, so now they're all here. I think there are more Bosporans that can be had. They're not. So they're all in here now. We're going to move them to Lepton and take whatever Bosporans we run across here as well. Which I think are probably not many because I think I've done this as it's fairly close to our home territory. But actually there, there are indeed a few. Let's get these guys out. Uh, up to these new cities that are being built. We'll move them into Tyrus from the Lepton. It's not uh, we're spending a fair clip of money here. Well, that's what we'll do. Just goes to show it doesn't really take all that much time. And we'll go to uh, Olbia and move these guys. Uh, We'll grab a, as many Bosporans as we happen to run across from wherever we find them. Which um, is not there. We'll get these guys here. Moved out. If they were a... I wish they were... Well, and there, I wish a great many things. I think it's been said before that it would be nice to have like a 5 or 10 button for these movements. But such as life uh, any more boss prints about there's not we'll go right here from Olbia and that and then we'll place them in the city there's 53 of them that we were able to extract and we'll leave um, Olbia maxed out of course with whomever there should be quite a bit of boss print citizens etc there you know Olbia so a brand new city has a 38 capacity and we can fill it from um, this area here. Actually we want to leave some for that other city so uh, so some assimilation and such goes on. We'll just move some of these uh, these other guys um, to that area as well. And then uh, we'll move the rest to Ish. Uh, here see so that's topped out uh, there's no overpopulation it's all good all right so these guys are continuing to build their roads uh, we are continuing to bank uh, money generally speaking uh, there's a wonder here that uh, I've been after it's gonna trigger a large defensive league um, let's see here mostly in Crete And we have no aggressive expansion, so we may as well do it. I'm going to merge these armies and then break them apart into three groups. We have some more Legion Count available. And I'm going to make a, another group here so we can siege down forts without having to hire too terribly many mercs. We'll get some of these. And we'll get um, how many more we have, I see. So, hmm. Supplies, and we have 20 horse archers. Well, that's probably not going to do us much good, but not going to break up exactly as one would like. 
but I'll, I sin, I sin. I probably should have built uh, supply trains instead of these extra cords, as they're going to run out of supplies. Uh, so I have adjusted that. So we can break this up into um, uh, three groups now. I broke the units up into three groups. Um, we have a fifth Taxos, um, but only so many generals. Um, so, uh, 3663, or 663, and then here we have a, a larger cohort group, uh, 3773, and then this one is the, the 3663. They should uh, engage uh, this lot uh, fairly uh, reasonably. I'm going to send the fat stack to um, siege down this wonder territory here. It probably has a fair number of forts, it does. And then the other two groups will go to uh, Crete and probably establish a foothold in one of these forts. Um, hopefully the capital, both of them. And then the, maybe they'll uh, break up, but I, there probably can be a sizable force here. I'm going to do all that. Uh, I'll give you uh, updates from time to time. All right, we are here. It looks as though this guy has been involved in fighting the uh, revolt that he's uh, in, uh, engaged with. So we can declare this war and hopefully take this guy out right now. We can take uh, 35 PI for 5,000 manpower. And as we're nearly topped out, I thing is that'll put us at 500 so uh, I need to build another city right now I think there are many more of these pops as uh, noted earlier in, in uh, this former tribal area that can be brought up and placed in uh, Canet it's a uh, forest and frigid but um, it's sufficient as well so let's go ahead and take this PI for the manpower this guy has landed on the um, Rhodian capital. We're going to bounce over here to uh, this area and invade Crete. We're topped out there on PI. I just got a stability event. Uh, the uh, Temple of Artemis is nice. It's keeping us at a very high stability and the loyalties are, are good. Specifically, the character loyalties are getting us uh, quite a bit of PI. Um, let's see what we've got here. So this is uh, filled up, uh, overpopulated now, filled up. I have one going up in Canet. Um, I may as well um, build uh, one of these cities in, in this area as well. Um, that's not going to do us uh, any good. This will be at 500 again quite shortly. We need um, to build that wonder. The wonder should cost us uh, 180. Although our funding is still lacking. Hmm. I think we can raise one of these cities, maybe roads or something, and get some money. This uh, fort just fell, and I think that we can peace out essentially and take the whole lot. What is this area here? So there's no way we get at the Kidrama. We'll not uh, worry about that. And we'll take the 14 and boom. Ah, so we can do it. We can get 2,500. Get a boost to our commerce income. And uh, we'll, we'll do exactly that. Is, is that still a city? No, it's a settlement, unfortunately. Um, I suppose we could recitify it. Then we could have a, a fort protecting our wonder. And it's probably not a poor idea, really. Although the wonder is not really much to speak of, per se. Hmm. Um, you know, speaking of wonders and forts, I think we should probably build one there. I believe there's um, already a fort right there. I just um, file a claim. I'm going to grab my PI back plus 10. We'll lose a bit of stability, but we're losing it anyway. I filed a claim, um, I think, here against uh, this uh, kingdom. 
And it's gonna trigger a couple of guys here. Who knows really what can come of it. Okay, um, <clears throat> we are continuing um, to evacuate from our newly conquered territories here. I'm going back to Thessaloniki. I'll probably uh, aggregate the armies into uh, just two again, as these are not particularly formidable relative to how they were at two. Um, we have uh, two technologies or uh, innovations, and uh, we can take Might of Majesty. Now, I played this game enough to know that uh, this is essentially useless, as it does not unlock the Might of Majesty law, uh, but does give you Diplo Rep, and it's sort of on the way here. But it, it, if you um, just uh, use Debug to debug this, um, the Might of Majesty law is such that it's essentially an incredible um, boon to um, legitimacy, 0 0.20 up and national noble happiness as well. Now we won't be able um, to do that to get the noble happiness, although it would be nice. Um, we can, however, have unlimited legitimacy, essentially. Or at least uh, what I what I would uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just eyeball it and and you know after a secession of course we'll have a lower legitimacy but that 0 0.20 tick is is potent we have the 0 0.20 tick uh, we don't have any tick right now actually and we're still running at a hundred percent so I'm gonna take that and essentially uh, give myself uh, unlimited uh, legitimacy via the console we won't get any noble happiness what of it. But uh, this 0 0.20 tick is a thing, and uh, there's no way to enact the law. You'll note it says uh, Might of Majesty law can now be unlocked. Other than no, it can't because it says we need scientific patronage, which of course has nothing to do with legitimacy and everything to do with our other choice here, sponsored scholars, which we're not interested in. On a, a related note, uh, as to the way that I, I like to play this game, uh, why these uh, offspring here are never married? I don't really know. I don't know. Um, the family is running a bit low on um, pops or uh, family members, and we're going to have our miraculous uh, deity of fertility uh, grant Calistion Timolid uh, five or more children. Uh, our glorious uh, deified. Aeneas, the Hellenic deity of fertility, is going to uh, grant that boon. She's had seven children, and uh, that should uh, make the uh, family uh, viable uh, going forward. I gave it to the wrong guy. I think I did, yeah. Well, our deity is, uh, is uh, strange and mysterious in his ways. We're going to give them to uh, the Timolid family. Now, well, that's strange. It is to the Timolid family here, though. She just had all those kids, and then... But apparently they show in the Spartacid. It's like the thing is, is mad that it's not able to make the player crazed with this grand strategy that it has to pay attention to this micro of these, these mad characters that don't marry. Because... She's the one with the kids, but it shows here. Anyway, I wonder what ChatGTP would say about that. Uh, one of our new cities has popped uh, in Canet here. We need to move another 34 Bosper and etc. pops from here. It's not doing our quest for 13,005 any good for this wonder. With that having been said, I think I'm going to call this an episode where over the half hour that I've been using lately, um, not a lot going on. I'm going to populate these cities, so spend a little money, let a little time pass, burn down that AE. I think uh, we're going to relocate from uh, Thessaloniki uh, over here to Ephesus, and then uh, we'll take out, uh, I believe, Cold Cheese, who is unaffiliated and has uh, should have some cities. Uh, I don't want the Parthians to take it, so we're going to go and do it.